In simplest terms, a brain-computer interface is a device that senses brain activity, specifically your intention to move your hand. Imagine controlling your phone, your computer, even your entire environment just by thinking. Sounds like science fiction? Not anymore. Elon Musk wants to make that your reality with Neuralink. Everything that you perceive, feel, hear, think, it's, it's all action potentials. It's all just, it's neural spikes. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most futuristic and controversial technologies ever created, Neuralink. What is it? How does it work? And will it change humanity forever? What is Neuralink? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to control technology with just your thoughts? That's not a sci-fi movie plot anymore. It's the real-world vision of Elon Musk's company, Neuralink. Founded in 2016, Neuralink is a neurotechnology startup with one bold mission, to create a direct communication channel between the human brain and machines. In technical terms, it's working on a brain-computer interface, or BCI, a system that allows the brain to send and receive information to and from computers wirelessly. But why would we want to do that? Let's break it down. Our brains work through tiny electrical signals pass between billions of neurons. Every thought, movement, emotion, or memory is essentially an electrical pattern. Neuralink's technology aims to capture those patterns, decode them, and turn them into commands that a machine can understand. In simpler terms, you think it, and the machine does it. Whether it's moving a mouse cursor, typing a message, or even controlling a robotic limb, your brain becomes the controller. But Elon Musk isn't just thinking about helping people interact with their smartphones. His goals are far more ambitious. He envisions a world where this technology could restore lost vision, bring back mobility to people with spinal cord injuries, or help those suffering from neurological conditions like epilepsy, Parkinson's, or even depression. And even beyond medicine, Musk sees Neuralink as a way to prepare humanity for the rise of artificial intelligence, to one day allow us to merge with AI instead of being outpaced or overpowered by it. In Musk's own words, if you can't beat them, join them. So at its core, Neuralink isn't just about reading brain signals, it's about creating a future where human intelligence and machine intelligence work together in perfect harmony. Think that's it? Wait till you see what's next. How does it work? So, how exactly does Neuralink work? It all starts with a tiny device, one that looks no bigger than a coin. This is the Neuralink chip and it's designed to sit just beneath the skull, resting on the surface of the brain. Attached to that chip are more than a thousand ultra-thin threads, even thinner than a human hair. These threads are inserted into precise areas of the brain using a custom-built surgical robot. Why a robot? Because the threads are so fine, so delicate, that a human hand simply isn't steady enough to do the job. Once implanted, those threads act like microscopic microphones. They listen in on your brain's electrical signals, the tiny sparks that fire between your neurons whenever you move a finger, form a thought, or feel an emotion. Each of these threads can monitor up to 100 neurons at a time. And when you put all of that together, over a thousand threads reading tens of thousands of neurons, you get a real-time window into the brain's activity. But Neuralink, doesn't stop there. The chip not only reads signals, but it can also send signals back into the brain. That opens up a world of possibilities, from restoring touch sensations in paralyzed limbs to potentially treating brain disorders by electrically stimulating certain regions. And the entire system is wireless, no external cables, no bulky machines, just a sleek implant that communicates with a computer or smartphone via Bluetooth-like technology. Think about it. You want to move your cursor, your brain thinks the thought, Neuralink reads it, and the cursor moves. It's fast, it's seamless, and it's a giant leap forward in how we interact with machines. 
But of course, such advanced technology doesn't come without challenges, especially when it comes to testing it on real people. And that's where we head next. For those still watching, here comes some exclusive info. Human Trials and Concerns In January 2024, Neuralink entered a new chapter in human history. For the first time, the company implanted its brain chip into a human patient, a man suffering from paralysis. The result was nothing short of groundbreaking. He was able to move a computer cursor using only his thoughts. No physical movement, no traditional interface, just his brain communicating directly with a machine. This astonishing breakthrough proved that Neuralink's brain-computer interface could actually work in people, not just in lab animals. But with such bold innovation comes serious risk. To insert the Neuralink chip, a piece of the skull must be removed so that ultra-thin threads, finer than a strand of hair, can be carefully implanted into brain tissue. Even though this delicate procedure is performed by a specially designed surgical robot, it is still brain surgery with all the associated risks, bleeding, infection, inflammation, or even long-term neurological damage. No one knows exactly how the brain will react over time, or whether the chip will remain safe and functional inside the human body for years to come. And the concerns go far beyond medicine. If the brain can send signals to a computer, the reverse may one day be possible too, raising urgent questions about privacy and mental autonomy. If Neuralink can read your thoughts, who controls that data? Could your inner feelings be monitored, manipulated, or even hacked? Critics warn that we could be heading into a future where thoughts are no longer private, and our very minds become commercial or political battlegrounds. Beyond the technical and ethical concerns lies a deeper philosophical question. If Neuralink allows us to upgrade our brains, store memories, or enhance intelligence, what happens to the idea of being human? Will the wealthy become neuro-enhanced while others are left behind? Will society split not by class or race, but by brain power? While Neuralink could offer hope to millions suffering from neurological conditions, it also opens the door to a new kind of inequality, one that merges science with science fiction. Elon Musk himself acknowledges the risks, but he argues that doing nothing is the greater danger. As artificial intelligence grows rapidly more powerful, Musk believes humans must find a way to evolve, and Neuralink, he claims, is a vital step in that direction. Thanks to everyone watching so far. Now, let's get even deeper. Elon Musk's vision. For Elon Musk, Neuralink is much more than just a medical device. It's a bold step toward the future of humanity. While the short-term goal is to help people with neurological disorders, restoring movement to paralyzed individuals, treating memory loss or curing depression, Musk's long-term vision goes far beyond healthcare. He believes that Neuralink could be humanity's best chance at surviving in a world dominated by artificial intelligence. Musk has repeatedly warned that AI could one day surpass human intelligence and become uncontrollable. His solution? Instead of competing with AI, humans must merge with it. Through Neuralink's brain-computer interface, he envisions a world where people could integrate directly with machines, enhancing memory, boosting processing power, and keeping pace with digital systems that operate faster than any human brain. In this imagined future, you wouldn't need to speak, type, or swipe. You could send a message, search the internet, or control technology instantly, all by thinking. Communication would be brain-to-brain. -brain. Learning new skills could be as fast as downloading an app. Memories could be stored, edited, or shared. And for those who have lost their sight, speech, or mobility, the brain could bypass broken pathways and directly control devices that bring those functions back to life. But Musk's vision is not without controversy. 
Critics worry about the ethics of cognitive enhancement and the risks of mental inequality. Still, he remains focused on the bigger picture. For him, Neuralink is not just about convenience or even healing, it's about evolution, a way to take the next step in human development before artificial intelligence leaves us behind. As he puts it, if you can't beat them, join them. In Elon Musk's eyes, Neuralink isn't just a piece of technology, it's the beginning of a new era where humans and machines become one. Conclusion and Call to Action As Neuralink moves from concept to clinical trials, we find ourselves standing at the edge of a future no generation before us has ever faced. The idea of merging the human brain with machines, once the stuff of science fiction, is now very real. With every thread inserted into the brain, every signal captured, and every cursor moved by thought alone, we inch closer to a new chapter in the human story. But it's a chapter filled with questions. Can this technology truly help those who've lost mobility, memory, or hope? Will it change lives for the better, or change what it means to be human? Will it empower us, or expose our most private selves to control, surveillance, and inequality. For Elon Musk, Neuralink is the next logical step in our evolution. For others, it's a future to fear as much as embrace. What is certain is this. We are no longer dreaming about mind-controlled machines. We are building them right now. And so the question shifts from, can we do this, to something much more urgent. Are we ready? If you've made it this far into the video, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Would you ever allow a chip to be implanted in your brain? Do you see this as salvation or surrender? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, like, share and subscribe if you want to see more deep dives into the future of science, technology and human potential.